right, let's talk about getting your grass to grow under your trees. First and foremost, we got to talk about priorities. Your grass is very easy to replace. Your big old oaks or whatever, your trees are not. So you want to make sure you're prioritizing correctly because here's the thing. It's a lot easier to change the landscape down below than it is to replace the tree up above. And so you want to keep that in mind because your trees are going to hold a lot more value than, than your grass is. And it's also going to be a lot easier to amend later on. The other thing, I get this call all the time. I need you to thin my trees enough so that my grass will grow down below. And here's the problem. You can't. It's not possible. It's a losing battle. Walk into a forest. Do you see nice landscape, St. Augustine? No, you don't. So we've got to re-strategize a little bit. Now, we're out here at this undisclosed location. And we've got a problem where the grass just isn't growing. Now, 20 years ago, this landscape worked great. However, we've got kind of a problem. We've got all these crepe myrtles. At this point, they're becoming problematic. So all these crepe myrtles on this side, they got to go. Uh, because long term, they're just not serving their functional purpose anymore. It's really nice to think 40, 50 years into the future because realistically, most of them are going to last that long. The other thing is what we can do is we can remove a couple of trees, these crepe myrtles, and then these live oaks, we can actually reduce the canopy height back just a little bit right up in here. We can pull that growth back just a little bit with some creative pruning styles and allow a ton more sunlight down here to come through. And that's gonna work way, way, way better than trying to thin the canopy out way out here enough to get sunlight to grow through because realistically the tree put those leaves there for a reason, and if you come in and remove too many of them, you can greatly stress the tree out. So just a few things to consider. Starts with good planning. Plan it out properly. Second of all, is you just wanna make the right decisions when it comes to this, and a good certified arborist or consulting arborist can help you go in the right direction without doing stupid things like thinning out the canopy so much that you stress the daylights out of the tree. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you learned a bit, and follow for more great tree tips.